Hi guys, welcome back to Sexcom. Alright, so I have a little bit of a, I guess a complaint, I guess. Um, cause I, I, I was thinking, actually one second, what's the buff here? Signal jamming. Scan times are greatly increased. What? Scanning times? Whatever. Um, so my little complaint here that I'm gonna have. Also, this guy has an outdated weapon. What? Or no, he can have another slot. I guess he could use extra aim. Cause yeah, I, I gave him a new weapon, I guess. The Helix Railgun Cannon. Wow. Man after my own heart. Uh, let's do something like that. Cause you have the rockets here too. Alright, anyways. Um... So my little complaint is, so you know how we have that sh that sweet shotgun and the katana? Um, both of those are weapons that can only be used by one class. Um, so to make use of both of them, I would have to bring, cause like, I can't have any, I, like this guy can't use a shotgun. He just uses the stupid bull pups. Like actually, if you actually look here, shotguns are considered a ranger only weapon. Actually, you know what, for that matter, let's let's just pretend like we're gonna go to something else. Let's see what it says, actually. Yeah, our, our, the Arashi is a fucking ranger-only thing. That means that I, I killed the one person, but I got literally two weapons that are only meant for one class. Um, it's kind of shit in that way, actually, uh, so kind of upset, not gonna lie. Just realize, though, yeah, you do have a good plasma rifle. Uh, this guy needs Half-Life 3. Actually, where the hell is Half-Life 3? There it is. Okay. I mean, kinda, kinda garbage, because it's like, you know, I, I would like to efficiently use my, um, you know, my items and, like, have them spread across soldiers. Cause, like, remember what I did last mission? I had one person with a sword and one person with a shotgun. It was, like, really awesome. And I forgot that, like, in Long War, you could have medics with shotguns, which made a lot of sense. But for some reason, like, I don't know why they never changed that to make it so, like, I don't know. It's dumb. I'm sad. <sighs> Maybe I should just go play Long War. No, I'm not going to do that. I never fucking finish it. God knows I've tried. It's too fucking Long War for me. Although it's amazing. I don't know. I, I have a hangry for it now that I'm playing XCOM 2 again, but, uh... That's a separate issue. We'll get back to that at some point. What? He's concealed too? He gets his own animation. Just try to debate how to get over there. Let's do this. Get just over there. Alright, looks like nobody's actually there. A long run. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go hide over there. TLC. Location confirmed. Bluefin needs to take high ground. However, uh, this is not very good high ground. Actually, this technically counts as high ground if you go over here. Ooh, it's a person there. Civvy. Copy that. Be okay though. All right. Moving there. Ah, uh, nobody here, huh? Well, oh, this is a nice high ground right there. Look at that. It's a good high ground. We need to get inside that building. Uh, well, let's get someone who's a bit on it. Stealth here. All right, Bluefin. Can can we get Bluefin onto that building? Cause that's some fucking sweet high ground. I'm on the move. Just, uh, I just like how much. Uh, oh, you're not allowed to grapple in here. Oh no, there's no targets available. Whoops. Uh, let's get you. Actually, you know what? This is Roger that. that is technically high ground as well. There's a lot of things that are high ground. 
I'm surprised a robot can stealth, to be honest. It's not, that, it's not that I'm, like, racist against robots, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're good at stealth, but... They are not far now. I mean, I'm fat-shaming them, let's be honest. Alright. Who do we bring in first? We know they're inside. I think the best idea might be just to go up there. Let's see, grapple... No, I don't want to grapple up there. As you command. Changing position. You know they're inside. Yes, Commander. On approach of objective. Wait, he spotted me. Now we will uh oh. The Gideos. Okay. Um, that might be a problem. What the hell's that? That's 50% for that? Did I? No. It's worse. Alright, well. Deploying grapple. Can't say I saw that coming, but it happens. Oh my god, it was the perfect angle to remove his, his dice cover. Alright. Um, apparently Bubblegum Buck can hack. We're gonna run and gun over here with a shotgun. He kinda did use his... I should've, I should've made him wait. But we're gonna try and recover this. I have a lot of options here. Uh, where's uh, TLC? TLC's right here. The hell, what can he hack? On that. Okay, I'll go. You have uh, a aid protocol available for us. You do. Okay, that that helps a little bit. I'm just gonna move Bubblegum Bot out over here. Dr. Warcock. You have been judged. You have been on Naughty Boy. Alright, um, defense increased after first attack of every turn. Uh, immune to melee, chest return fire against the shots, gains health when nearby enemies take damage. Increased damage from explosions, increased damage from skirmishers. And I am your punishment. I have a skirmisher, I think. Yeah, I do have a skirmisher, actually. Holy shit, that guy has a lot of HP. Nice. You have killed one of my brethren. One of the elders chosen. The power of life and death is not yours to wield. You've got the chosen in range. Let's take it out. Commander, one of the chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it throws off the rest of our operation. With each new wound, your troops grow weary of your failures. Wow. This is some shit, let me tell you. You removed my overwatch. I am sad. Fuck. You have your own bot? Dude, what an asshole. Need to find some new cover. Well, let's just get the person with all the medkits to do that. Oh wait, that was DLC. Alright. Horror. I've never seen that ability. What? What's he doing? What? what? Yo. Obsessed removed. Alright, people are talking. <laughs> I think he panicked and then killed the guy who was, uh... 
kind of did things. Stuff. Alright, Mox. Alright, how do we handle this? This might be a Gordon Freeman type situation. If we blow him up and bring him to the lower floor. That's what I'm thinking. I, I'm gonna say we don't probably have the best angle for this. It'd be a good idea to move Mox, actually. Mox isn't exactly what I would call in a prime location for this situation. You would blindly follow the nearest course that would give you purpose. Is that not the case, traitor? You would be better served with the elders than praise. Alright. Oh, what? I thought he'd go through the door. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. Air trigger free action, nice though. Guess we'll hit him. So we could wrath it, and we can pull ourselves to the Warcock. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. Also, I, I know that we can't uh, do anything there. TLC probably should use Gremlin Heal. Is that, is that a turn-ending action? It is not. Dude, we got fucking four charges of this shit. This is so fucking good. Holy shit. Dude, can we do it again? On Do we need to do it on that guy? How much does it heal? Uh, 6 HP. Alright, now he'll be fine. Right, let's bring um, Tilsi out of uh, the bad position he's in. That is fucking a horrible shot. You can just long watch. You only have one shot left. I'm thinking you reload actually. I'm thinking that we do this. Just to kind of like reset her turn here. You, you you missed the guy. Okay, well now we can kill him. All right, Mox, you're you're having an off day. I can I can see. Huh. All right, well let's start with uh, med kidding. Uh, Mox, he's I'm probably gonna do some retarded shit with him, honestly. Quite honestly, I'm probably gonna just bring the bot over here, just like right next to this dude. I can overdrive him there too. I really would like that that weapon thing upgrade. All right, you know what? I don't think my I honestly don't think my sniper is in a prime position here. However. They're coming down over here, so I think having them over there is still a pretty good idea. We also have to take care of this thing at some point. I mean, it only takes one hack to do it. I mean, the bot's not very good at that, I think. How can we flank this guy? I need to grenade him, that's what I actually really need to do. I just, I, I don't see a good opportunity for that. Who's your teammate? Your teammate is the other guy. You know what? I'm gonna make you come over here. You're not doing anything, so go give a, uh, a charge to Freeman over here. Cause like, you're just worthless, honestly. Like, you're overwatching over there, fuck it. You know what? Start bringing this guy down a little bit. I know he's there. Okay, dude, dude, like this, this fucking pixel. Oh my god, dude. Dude, like I can see it occasionally. It just flickers. That doesn't seem like the best way to do things. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, fuck it, let's do this. I know he's there. There you go, we got him. Did we shred any armor off? Yeah, no, we didn't. What? 
We're not shut off any armor. So it's a battle of the plates, then, is it? Are your own soldiers so low profile? That you must now rely on the efforts he got low profile? <laughs> that motherfucker. Alright. Uh, anyone need healing? Nah. I can grant mocks in action, actually. I'm not against that. Okay, I'm thinking we grab this and then we move up here to. It's not explosive or anything, right? Yeah, no, it is. Twelve days. All right. I know there's this guy right here, but fuck, do we really want to deal with that now? Also, everything's on fire here. Alright, let's move you over here. Hey, you got... Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. I dare. I mean, fuck it. Okay, two crits. Are you for? Are you, dude? Are you for real? All right. Oh shit, dude! The pigeons here. <laughs> pigeons, dude. Just hovering in the air. All righty. There's always more I can do. Ah, oh, he just overwatches. Try as they might. Occasionally they do. Five HP stolen. Fuck. And then he does special armor, huh? I mean, we technically don't have to kill this guy. Oh my god, that's a spectral armor. It's a lot of guys, though. Uh, I'm probably just gonna nuke this, honestly. Alright. The only unfortunate thing is this guy's a dick, so... Um, what do we have for HP regen? Uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm so glad I did this thing. Alright, so this is the only thing you can heal. But we can haywire protocol that guy, but that's a end turn ending action. Alright, I'm gonna say, let's, uh, let's aid protocol this guy. And then we're gonna over haywire protocol the, the bot. Or we could combat protocol too, but I think I'd rather, let's get it. I think I'd rather disable it. So why is it five turns until it's destroyed when, like, nothing is destroying it actually? We're gonna disable the unit. Okay, this is the one time I could have actually done control unit and that would have actually been successful. You know, just my luck, right? I decided to do the safer thing and I did not. Alright. Hack and hack chest. So, we're gonna kind of go like down here. There, there's a there's an angle where this is fine, where you get all of them. Actually, I don't think there is one. You realize it would be like this. Okay, I I'm trying to click actually. There we go. The oh, they're all immune. Hey. Um. Right. But guys, we just learned something today. Apparently they're all immune to that. So, basically, if you decide to play x and you do that thing, and I just made her sprint in action. I think I may actually reload my turn. That was two fuck-ups in one turn. I did not realize you did not have a lot of fucking movement. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, trying to think of the best way of dealing with the Warlock. I mean... Dude, we got like two crits with mocks on it. Like, holy shit. Alright, so 
These guys are all immune. Um, I guess grenade is what is what we do. Is there like a way? Like there was a way in. I really wish. I kn I know there was like a way in. Um, oh yeah, right. I I overdrived him and disabled him. Oh yeah, right. I remember what I did now. This just seems like a situation for a grenade. Alright, now we did haywire. I'm gonna do the same thing, even though I even though I kinda know that it's gonna work because the way the game works is it uh it uses the same seed. But we're gonna Oh no it doesn't. Oh, I must have done something else. Weird. It's supposed to use the same seed, I thought. And so everything's like the same action when you redo it, but that, okay. What kind of shots do you have? Actually, that's pretty good. Both very good, actually. Wait one sec, you have Deadeye. Shit, I like that. Alright, so this is going to be a situation where we just kind of like duck and cover. Where's Mox? What can Mox do? Oh, we can totally come up here and annoy the fuck out of him. Well, let's uh, let's hold off on that because there's a couple grenades and things we can use here. Should I double check that for you? I'm, I'm actually really annoyed that I cannot put free reloads on this guy. This is the one guy I want free reloads on. I think we hack chest, but um, let's uh, let's hold off on that for just a second. Crits too. Oh my god, it's so it, nice. Right? I love crits. All right, I'm gonna say no gas grenade. All right, this uh, this is a turn uh, turn ending action anyway, so let's bring this guy over here. What's over there? Grenade out. All right, it's out. <laughs> Terribly as goes. Yeah, that guy comes up. Alright, Mox I don't think has a decent grenade, but he has a Mimic Beacon. That might actually be a better option here. Changing position. Why does it like look like it's weird? the hell? Oh, it puts him on fire, huh? Yeah, that could be a problem, I can see. Alright, let's see if we can mimic beacon down here somewhere. No, I guess not. Can do it kind of down there. Dude, what, what's wrong with my graphics right now? <laughs> what's actually wrong with my graphics? Alright. Uh, I can whiplash that guy. Probably not the worst idea on the planet. Battle Lord. Each enemy in line of sight takes a turn. Take immediate action. I mean, that could be. That's a. That's actually takes a turn though. What? What the hell's the point in that? It's like, a attack. Oh wait. So wait, what's it? What's it actually? Say? After each enemy, so you you get to take turns whenever they do anything at all. Ah, oh, maybe I should have done that. Because after they do something, you have to do something else. Guess I'll whiplash him because it's free action. I will break you. And also, 100% chance to to hit him too. No armor penetration. Uh, proper form of Overwatch to firing automatically perform any action.
Like I said, I kind of regret not putting him here, but let's, uh... We don't get a free reload either. Okay, let's do interrupt then. Okay. I feel like we need to hack this, but I also feel like we need to overdrive. All right, let's 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 reload. Actually, actually, no. He's got he's got the Overwatch on him. What's he doing? Oh, he used two actions for this. What the fuck? Oh, he's got he's a stun lancer. Uh, yeah, this could be a problem. Someone's going down. Their blood is spilled in vain to the honor of no one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Meet, meet Katana. Alright. Uh, I guess there's really... Actually, uh, that's not an action I want you to take. Can I just go down here? Just like be right next to him and shoot him twice. Alright, I'm gonna try that. This may be a fucking terrible idea. Oh god! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, that was a terrible idea! I. I. <laughs> Grab that's how it worked. Alright, what else do we got here? Ah, oh, dude, it seemed like such a good idea at the time. Alright, well, we got some shit here. What's my sniper seeing? Heavy mech. Dude, when that heavy mech comes online, you're gonna see some serious shit. The hook. Alright, somehow my fucking angles of attack got worse. Fuck out. I, oh my god, what the hell? So at some angles I can see the Chosen, like this one. I'm not sure what's blocking it actually. Is it- oh, is it that tower is blocking it? Oh my- that, how unlucky is that shit, honestly? So unlucky. Okay, uh, what can we do for uh, good old Mox over here? It's the best thing I can think of doing, honestly. He's still dazed, though. Check it before you get too close. Uh, there's these two schmucks here now. 90, 80, 90s thing. Okay. I think Gremlin Heal would be a good action for Mox. Heal bot coming through. That heal is really coming in handy, and combat protocol for this guy. I mean, what else can you combat protocol? I mean, there's a lot of good combat protocol targets, but I'm gonna choose that guy. Actually, will his armor negate some of that? I don't know, I guess not. Just heard explosion, so I guess not. Uh, I would say we need to get slightly more away from the that thing. Uh, I may have gone into a position that's not as advantageous, but that's okay. Actually, it's okay. No, it's not. Alright, well, there's a lot of poison here. I think we just need to dart away with this guy. It looks like he basically has to essentially maintain the spectral things. It looks like he doesn't get actions at all. Yeah, he he has very low movement, luckily for me. 
Unluckily for me, I have to basically move around a lot. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping for the Blade Storm proc. Okay, so he gets an action now, right? That was so lucky. <laughs> we got fucking we brought the free action. No, it's not. I forgot that weapon has like a really high chance to do that. I'm, I'm I because I was thinking five percent, right? But actually, it's more like fifteen percent. So it's actually not that like lucky. Um, so lucky, but. Oh no! I just wanted to get out of there. All right, TLC, I may have fucked you. I'm sorry. How the fuck do we save you now? <laughs> How the fuck do we save you? Uh. Oh, these are awful. Oh shit. Oh, we can overdrive. Testing this unit's agility. All right. Now to salvage a fucking another terrible situation put my soldiers into. Wait, how does this not hit any of you? Dude, how does line of sight matter when it's a fucking flamethrower? Pyro Banes, can you fucking explain this to me? Fuck, dude. I, I thought I would have a good line here, this is why I did this. Alright, let's give over to you. Gonna need to. I mean, this is the best thing you can do, actually. Here, it sucks, actually. All right, we need to pull you out here. Unfortunately, that guy's over there too. But I don't think we have a choice. Actually, wait. Can we just go over here? No, we fucking lost. Chelsea's dead. Or RNG smoke bomb. Aren't you take the wheel? Alright, let's see. I mean, actually, if, if this is all he does, that's pretty good, actually. Lightning reflexes. Lovely. I mean, that's actually pretty good for us. Because that means that they're not dead. <laughs> they were totally dead in this situation. They were totally dead here. Alright, let's see, how much more HP do we have? What the fuck are you gonna do? The fuck? You're going after Freeman? What the fuck? Dude, he's been through rough times. I keep saying this, but he has been through rough times. Alright. Oh, yeah, this guy. He's, um... This, why is that guy so annoying, actually? Alright, we can actually get the angle now. We just go, kind of go over here. Ah, uh, the open spaces, the fresh air. No, we, we seem to never be able to hit this angle. What the hell? Also, I'm not sure if uh, this is going to also light my other person on fire. I have to be aware of this. I mean, it's one of those things where the flamethrower is actually... You know what? Fuck it, I'm going to load it. Um, the flamethrower is actually one of those things which is... Um, as you get further away, it has more um, AOE kind of thing, and I, I keep not 
taking that into consideration. I mean, honestly, I, I, I'm trying to line it up, right? Like, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, but apparently that's not actually what I should be doing with it, I'm guessing. I don't use the flamethrower a lot, because um, I'm obviously a huge anti-pyro guy. Okay, that would be not the shot we want to ha take, actually. Because that's just that fucking thing. Because we would prefer to kill this fucker right here. Because once again, like, I, I feel like... Okay, one second, I'm just, I'm just curious. Yeah, this counts as flamethrower, so... Ideally, if I actually do... Okay, I just have to line this up better, I think. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's just go right into the smoke cloud, like this. I'm compelled. I'm, I'm, I just want to try this out, because I want to get better at doing this. Yeah, like that. There you go. That's what I want. Immune. Oh, well, fuck. Apparently, that's not what I should be doing anyways. Huh. Let's try and kill that stupid ass bot. I'm fucking tired of him. Get the fuck out. Alright. Yeah, this, this is me, uh. Totally not mad, by the way. Um. Combat presence, maybe to. This guy doesn't have, like. Dude, okay, this is, like, the thing. Like, I really want to be able to click people, and. Can we see what his attributes are? There used to, I swear to god, in XCOM 1, there used to be a way you press, like, F1 on a target, and then you'd see what, like, their stats are, kind of thing. Like, you see, like, they have lightning reflexes and shit like that, right? Those were good times. Alright, what else do we have? Sniper rifle shot on Shadow. Sniper did not really come in handy this mission, oddly enough. Alright, let's see what we have for, uh, combat presence. These are the only ones we have? Uh, you only see one thing either as well. It's, uh, a turn-ending action. Huh. Well, it's not like you're gonna basically, you know, do anything useful, so. Let's kill that. 22, right. 22 hit. Oh, apparently TLC is back up. Alright. I mean, luckily, these guys are actually both in the uh, smoke cloud. What do we have here? Combat protocol. Huh. What do we have? What, what do we have for uh, pro combat protocol targets? Four damage. Four damage. Just that's it. Okay. I'm thinking we a protocol. Does this guy have ammo in his gun? No, he doesn't. So he's not even a useful thing to to aid protocol. What's your chance to do anything useful here? Not, not actually a very good chance, actually. 75% chance to pull yourself, or we can pull him to us. Okay, well, we missed. Alright, I guess it's gonna be up to Freeman to handle, take care of this. He's got, he's got a gas bomb, but as I'm starting to learn that there isn't actually a lot of good gas bomb opportunities. Oh my god, dude, these are like... These are like the worst shots, actually. Alright. Oh, bubblegum bot. You protocol yourself. This has not been terribly great. Go heal him. Alright, let's see how this goes. Vanishing. Okay. Well, that worked out. <laughs> Alright, that sword's fucking cool. Dude, why would you ever go anything but Blade Master knowing that this is in this game? 
Alright. He said it's vanishing, right? Well, we have a tool for that. Hey! How are you doing, sexy? By the numbers! one 5 we're not picking up further contacts near your position. Site is secure. Move on the target before the charges detonate. Alright, well. I, I don't know what, who we want to do this, but... Stomp, stomp, stomp! You know that that actually went beautiful. That was that was, that was some good shit. I'm actually very happy with that. I'm surprised that the turn timer just kind of stopped. Back online. Let's do this. All right. Well, you know, no one died. Uh, mistakes were made, but you know. So uh, you're out of actions, I know. Got it covered. Menace one five. We're not picking up further contacts near your position. Site is secure. Move on the target. I can't. I, like, I can't even really see their stats right now, right? No, I can't really see that. This thing. End turn. Soldiers. Man, we're dude. I, I'm spoiled because I remember that being a thing in XCOM one, and the key for that doesn't work in XCOM two. What's your chance to do anything here? Oh fuck! It's awful. You are not in charge of hacking, Mr. Sparkbit, sir. This is what TLC was bred for, though. What's over there? Accessing system. All right. I was just kind of wondering what his hack, hack uh, ability was. Basically, it's not very good. Avenger scan times times reduced by fifty percent for four weeks. That's pretty good. But it, I, I'm guessing it means anything, right? And we're guaranteed to get that. Yeah, fuck that shit. Do that. We could have gotten that one, but I think that one sounds much better. I mean, target package that is confirmed. Like, think about all the bonuses you get. You get much more than 50 income, or 25. Sorry, it, was, it wasn't even 50. That's pretty good. I like that. It's a nice plant. Personally, I'm pleased. Our enemy lurks in the shadows, plotting to destroy all we have built, to return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them, united in the. I don't really like listening to the speaker anymore. Knowing. Chosen are incredibly resilient. Despite our victory, oh, wait, here we today, go. We still have much to learn if we wish to destroy them permanently. Every weapon deal plus two damage to have increased area of effect. Not bad, but strike. Attack any enemy within movement range with a powerful melee attack. We're gonna do that. Actually, let's see what the things say here. The spark can perform a dash move. Yeah, so it's basically the same as um, if you were, uh, yeah, whatever. If you were, let's say, like you were, um, you're, you're a ranger, right? It's the same melee kind of thing. Circular radius by two plus two damage to heavy weapons. Yeah, we don't really care too much about heavy weapons, to be fair. We got another learn core too. All right, so how do we repair him faster? Staff and gremlins. The proving ground thing? No. There was a thing for that. Just give the word and I'll get started. Oh, uh, staff. Assign a soldier to receive a bonus. The hell? We need to assign a soldier. You're referring to assigning a engineer. It's clearly what you must be referring to. Well, I don't have an engineer for that. Uh, yeah, we need the power. So, I'm just kind of just curious. What happens if we remove someone? I just want to see what happens. What can I do for you, Commander? No, no, you can't do that. Why does it say assign a soldier? It doesn't make any sense. Why would you assign a soldier to repair a spark? They clearly do not know how that shit works. It's complicated. All right, well, we have all the upgrades here. There are no upgrades here. 
Dude, I'm so sad that I built this fucking thing and then, like, <laughs> there's nobody that can do it. <laughs> Apparently I didn't think that far ahead. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's any good upgrades. Doesn't really seem like it. Like, we can upgrade the power conduit on this, and I think I have it for really cheap. Pretty good. The shadow chamber. Alright. Well, we have 13 out of 15 contacts. Oh, that's right. We didn't have enough intel to do the rest of them. Oh, dude. Resistance contacts. Oh, no. Um. Yeah, fuck, I want to make a tower, that's what I want to make. Because we get we get 20% boost to all research times. Can we do that now? How much does it cost? Way too fucking much. However, however, guys, Avenger plotting new course. we can go to the African-American market and we can go get uh, ourselves uh, a... Market is open. We can actually, we can actually, we can actually pay for the rest of them, guys. It will be fine. Is there anything I don't bring here? Like, do I really need a hazmat vest, guys? Like, do I really need it? Will you be fucking triggered if I sell that? Because I think you will, but I'm selling it. Because I don't think I... Dude, I only have two slots for every person. I'm going to have to use focus on someone, don't worry. I got yelled at already for not having that. I don't need the nanoscale vest either. Fuck that shit. We're not using it. We're not... I'm never going to fucking use it, okay? Even even if it is the best thing in the world and you use it in all your fucking runs, all right? I know myself. I'm not going to fucking use it, all right? You know why? Because I'm way too fucking lazy. And I would rather have other items. I mean, uh, to be honest, the med kit that the other guy had, that was a good piece of armor. That was solid. Like, the, like he just was healing, like, automatically. That was fucking nice. Alright. Don't get me wrong. That was nice. But this one's like, whatever. Shredder gun. Wrist-mounted slug thrower that sprays a cone of razor-sharp projectiles, damaging multiple enemies and trading their armor. That sounds like a railgun, to be honest. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like Oh, we got supplies too. Okay, maybe we could have just waited, but yeah. Templar has received a promotion. Alright, what do we have here? Recover loot. We can make another PCS. Choose the, uh, reduce avatar project. Oh, shit. Ambush. Moderate. I mean, that isn't the worst thing on the planet. It beats having to do a, another fucking whatever thing it was, but yeah. Recover loot. Alien loot. Six days. Dude, why is this taking so long? Oh, yeah, I know I know why it's taking... No, no, no. He's there, actually. Yeah, fuck that. Why is it taking so long? Just thinking to myself, yeah. Increase region by 12 supplies. Yeah, nah. Scientist. Oh, we get doge. We got the doge build. Alright, maybe we should do sabotage. I'm thinking we do sabotage, but... Susceptible to ambush, though, guys. Soldier captured high, fucking a. Yeah, I get it now. Because either you like when you do this kind of shit, uh, you are reducing avatar project, kind of stuff. So, superior weapon upgrade. You know, I'm gonna try this out. I I would actually like to try this. So we'll try. Why did McFly can go? Who's your friend? Why did McFly? I think it's uh, not, not that guy. It's uh, oh Jack Witchell. Wow, that's unfortunate for you actually. I mean, yes. Actually, you know what? Other way around. Let's do Whitey McFly. Gets better at aiming. Duck Witchel here. And the Gate Soldier wounded? I actually don't really care to get wounded, to be honest. What is that, like five days in the med bay? Fuck it. I'm not spending supplies on that shit. You get wounded and you'll like it. Alright, let's go to these soldiers. Alright, let's see what Prophet has now. That guy's a baller. Look at that guy. He's fucking ready for anything. Oh yeah, here we go. Summon lightning strike to all nearby enemies. Damage increases his focus level. Costs all focus, but generates focus on kills. That's pretty good, actually. How much damage does that do? Does double damage to psionic units. Fucking A. I like that. Void kind of a trap a human in a psionic, psionic prison, immobilizing them for multiple actions and transferring their health to the Templar. Cost one focus. God damn, dude. Ghost, create a Templar. Create a duplicate of the Templar from the body of a fallen human humanoid. The ghost disappears when it loses all focus. Cost two focus. Wow. 
Alright guys, I kinda wanna do that one. I I kinda wanna do that one. Dude, these are all really dude, I can't decide. This is actually like for a lot of them, like, you know, Mox and uh, whatever the fucking other person was, the the sniper stealth person, it was pretty obvious what like their role would be. For these guys, I don't fucking know. These guys are just so like everything looks good. Like everything looks good. Everything is so nice, knocking them back in the direction. Like a lot of these like quick draw, like I, I really like the, the bottom ones, ES2. Those ones are really good. His will is 45 out of 45. What's my will? 45 out of 45. Canned. 56. Oh, can has higher will than me? What the hell? Alright, well I might no, I already have a I already have a thing on there. He's got no will. I mean what I don't want to give him the superior will though. I would prefer that going to actually one of my uh, uh, one of my specialists, you know. I mean, everybody has pretty high will, actually. You know what? I know, like, pe people are making people are mocking my fucking the will on my soldiers, guys. They were mocking it, all right. Commander, we might have to do some cleaning, but we've still got room to grow here. We should consider building some new facilities. Wait, Hello, what are you? Commander. What are you talking about? Bar memorial. What you want to remove the bar? What, where is the room for more facilities? I mean, granted, I could just kill the Gorilla Tactics School, especially if I just do the rest of this shit. Mentally awake, start mission with one focus. That sounds pretty good. Skirmisher, yeah, whatever, I'll do that one. Alright, fine, there you go. I mean, can I just destroy this after we're done with it? Because I don't fucking need it, actually. You know? Just saying, guys. I don't need that shit. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Through swords. What do we get out of that? Increasing damage by one. Powered armor inspired. Okay, that's a good one. Spectre autopsy is now instant and two instants actually. All right, let's do the instants first. As initially speculated by Shen, it does in fact appear that this creature is restricted to the confines of its own hulking environmental suit. Unfortunately for our troops, the suit itself is a powerful physical threat, regardless of the operator's status, as we learned with some astonishment in the field. Actually, it's not that bad because it, it loses its movement. That's something I didn't realize. Environmental suit is capable of functioning in combat well after the original wearer has expired is remarkable. I must consult with Shin for further study into this unusual behavior. That's really not remarkable. We have automatically driving cars, you know. Why would that be remarkable? Referred to by our troops in the field simply as a specter. It has so far been difficult to ascertain by what means this being is able to shift forms from a solid to gaseous state at will. I had theorized it could be a cloud of nano machines, or perhaps even an insect swarm. However, those theories have proven false, while offering no new direction for my research. Refraction field. Oh, what is that? Using material recovered from the mains of the Inspector Refraction Technology can allow the equipped soldier instantly enter concealment. However, the field can only be used in combat once, and the device will be permanently removed from the soldier's inventory after activation. However, the field can only be used in combat once. The second line makes it sound like it's literally a one-time use thing. Like, it won't even come back. Oh yeah, it won't come back. That's what they're referring to. So, uh, like, it's not like you can... Not like every other thing where it's like a grenade, right? Where you use a grenade and you've used it, but you bring it back with you. That's actually like a thing. Anyways, we're gonna do powered armor. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. For reasons that should be pretty obvious. His armor is sweet. We be Halo. Undying loyalty, they become zombies. Actually, we're reading is that complete? Alright, well. An additional 20% research is pretty good. Uh, make contact with the Sassel. Or you tell. That's Chosen easy. Chosen Warlock is hard at work for his masters in this area. Ah, uh, eighty intel. Fuck, no, that was time for that. So resistance contacts. We have. That's probably a good one to do, actually. What was our other option? Just some intel. Intel we can still get. Avenger plotting new course. We can do that too. 
It's actually almost the end of the month too, so we'll be able to make a bunch of shit too. Commander, there were a few wounded. Superior laser sight. Overt action, but after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. Ah, right, what else do we get? Facility lead. Uh, fabricate PCS. Maybe we'll do that. Increase income. Uh, recruit a scientist. Uh, resistance order. Supplies corrected, collected from each supply drop are increased by 15%. Yeah, we can actually do that. That sounds good. Let's do two people that kind of work together, too. Do Mox and TLC, let's say. She does TLC. What level is he? What rank is he? He's a major. So, I mean, next next level he'll get his level up. Actually, I would, no, no, the Templar already leveled up. Just trying to think of someone I really want to level up. I mean, it's obviously Bubblegum Bot, but apparently he's not suited for these kinds of missions. Go figure. Yeah. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. See, having that out before the end of the month. I think the month ends on the 31st, right? Because it's September. I don't know my dates. Acid bomb, and inventory. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow oh, them down. We need not. to move fast. Got an urgent communication <laughs> coming in for you now, Commander. I'll rip us, I guess. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made a approach. We would have to do better. I was good before. Alright, I think we gotta take care of this guy now. The Chosen haven't given up on finding us, Commander. Midnight Raids. One of them is closer than ever. Resistance recruitment. Okay, I don't think we get anything really good out of this. Soldier bonds grow faster. Lightly wounded units. The bonds are something I removed, actually. I'm actually going to put it back in, with experience being uh, the 10% one not being in there. Sounds like a good idea. I understand, Commander. Hey. Okay. Oh wait, we have we have a new one. Oh, I see, we have a new one. Alright, never mind. Okay, my mistake, I, I, the UI, I couldn't actually tell really. That was my mistake, guys. Uh, are we done with weapon research? I don't think we are, so it's let's, let's do that. Way. Uh, you know what I'm kind of curious about, guys? Um, is there a way for me to get new recruits? Because it's saying, like, he's going to remove some recruits, right? So, is there, like, a place in the UI here I can just go, like, hey, I want some new recruits? Um, recruit. Oh, I guess there is. Ah, go figure. So I could have had Psy Soldiers the whole time. Alright. Well, that shows me. I just thought you were supposed to do it from something else. Yeah, and they just cost supplies, so... Uh, obviously you're gonna be biased and just go take Canadians. So yeah, I could have I could have been doing that. So we're bringing two people in for that. Okay. Okay. Do that too. Yeah, we could we could just keep it the way it is. Okay, that's how we'll do it then. I didn't actually realize I could do that. Uh, my mistake. Uh, but you know, go figure. But I don't think anyone else knew <laughs> when he said it in the comments for like literally days. I, I'm not blaming you guys. I blame myself more than everything, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. That's my fuck up. When I read the other thing, I'm like, hey, I can probably bring you. I just never need to do that, to be honest. Alright, we can get an engineer. Engineer wouldn't be terrible, honestly. But ambush. Avenger plotting new course. Ambush sounds pretty good, though. Because that means we can get more intel. What do we even use with intel after a certain point? Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Okay. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. If you've got right. something new for us, Commander, my Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. We've got a shot. Oh, we got some new, new shit here. Something we haven't tried before. You up for it, Commander? Breakthrough research modular cannons allows us to add, add additional research slot to all. Uh, sorry, uh, slot to all cannons. Uh, 13 ability points isn't bad. Because I've been needing a lot of that for uh, one of our friends, right? 
the nice Templar guy. He has so many good upgrades there. So, 121 supplies, facility lead, common intelligence form, soldier bond. Okay. Don't really need to handle this guy right now. Tech support, begin engineer. Um, intel collection, we get 50 intel. Resistance order. All armor and vest projects in Proving Ground are complete instantly. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think we need to do that right now. Well, it's before the end of the month kind of deals, right? Kind of want to do... Ah, it got rid of the... Uh, just realized it got rid of the... Uh, I'm going to have to do one of the facilities for Avatar Project. I can't... Because that, that one went away. That's okay. We can just do one of those missions. It's fine. Very easy. Alright, let's get someone... Let's get some noobs in here. Alright, so like... Smeghead... Dude, Smeghead has done more of these missions than anything else. Let's get like... Mark Payne and Smeghead together. I don't care if they're wounded. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. We have a lot of supplies, so I'm kind of curious about something. Oh, well, we have Proving Ground. There's no projects currently in there. Um, I don't really want to use any of these, because we might actually need these four cores. Skull Jack, yeah. Yeah, you know what, we're going to just hold on to it. Is there a place that we want to put an engineer, though? Retrains abilities, yeah. We could finish this. Now, with that being said, can we just delete this? Actually, can I even delete it at all? <laughs> Is it just stuck here? Hey, Commander. Just kind of curious. Build facilities. Oh yeah, you can remove it. Um, I don't know if I want to do that though. I probably should look into if that's going to pop up again because it seems like a really big mistake if uh, you don't want to do that. Strategic resource located. There. Yeah. All right, cave. Yeah, fuck the cave. Uh, let's see here, engineer probably isn't that bad. I mean, alloys we have a fair bit, but you know what? We actually may need them because we have powered armor coming up soon, and we got probably another a lot of other researchers we're gonna probably just do back to back we right our research in remarkable time like that okay so we got a new proving ground project war suit race suit and war suit um warden armor celestial gauntlets okay so that's a lot of shit uh that's the uh chassis for the um sparks and there's these guys warden armor it's a new one war suit Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. Race suit. Pretty good to do. Alright. Let's just do this one real fast. Alright, let's see what we got here. I kind of figured that would be the case. Actually, who's, who's upgraded right now? I think that's like TLC. Alright. Pass through discharge. Alright. What did I do with Witchel? I mean, Restoration is good too. They're, they're both good. I think I said Restoration was not good, but I think it is good, actually. I may have been wrong. I've been known to sometimes be wrong. New orders, Commander? Yeah, what do you have? I, I mean, I, it's, it's dude, uh, honestly, the support class or whatever, the hacking class, it's always the hardest one to do because they're always, like, they always have very good options, right? They're both very good. Alright, so let's see here. 300, yeah, that's what I figured. It'd be expensive as shit. Oh this is shit. Our basic power armor frame, providing the durability you'd expect from a giant armored suit. It's pretty sexy. Alright. Well, we can't do the spark upgrade. Battle scanner, that, uh. Gauntlets, Shadow Lance. I'm just gonna look at something for just a second. Let's look at the proving ground. Yeah, here we go. Race suit. It's 
pretty good. Yeah, that's what we were saving the uh, Lyrium Quartz for. Let you know as soon as the project and we go War Suit, and I think another War Suit would be in... Let's have two War Suits and one Race Suit. Because two War Suits actually is not a bad idea, I'm going to say. And I'll get started, I mean, on. is it like an automatic upgrade? All, uh, like, no, 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 because they, they lose one inventory slot, right? So it's actually not an uh, automatic upgrade, actually. But still, I'm going to have two... Yeah, actually, that's what... Wait, wait, does it... Nah, you know, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. It could be good. I don't know. I, I still want to have two. I still want to have two. I don't need more than one race suit, though. That's that, that that's just ridiculous. Alright, what do we have here? Celestial... This, uh... Yeah, we can't do anything else here. And there we go. Our allies are already down, so, I mean... I saw that coming. Oh, here we go. Soulfire. Guess continue training. Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own psy operatives can tap into that same power. Psy operative training completed. Participate in all combat trainings while mission. Sorry, all combat missions will training. They will resume combat if uninjured. Oh, so now you get to. T yeah, I remember this. So th yeah, we should do. Oh yeah, here we go. We can do that one. That one's good. We should we should get the second one going. Although that's uh, a lot of power and shit required for that. Actually, way too much. But still, it's actually a really good option here because like having two psi operatives that like training all the time. It's fucking nice. Uh, how much is the upgrade here? There you go. Power relay upgraded. So now we have more power. How much power is this providing for, uh, for us? Oh, dude, this has a Lyrium conduit too. What the fuck? Why does everything have a Lyrium conduit? Yeah, we can't move him. We can't move him away though. So we kind of need that power because this is going to cost five power. Go figure. And probably, as I said, I'm probably going to remove the Gorilla Tactics School. I just have to decide if uh, it's worth it to do right now. Oh god. You led them down this path, Commander, and now your friends are going to pay the price. Course for the South African sector. All right. Well. Guess we're gonna go fucking wreck them. Holy shit, we look sexy. Yeah, shit. Unfortunately, Bubblegum bought Centurion. <laughs> I'm down. No, that's not his name. We're gonna call him, uh. Fuck. Actually, is, this is his name. Does he have a bibliography? No. Date of birth 2001. Huh. He's BG Bot. His nickname, BG Bot, or Bubblegum Bot. The only thing I hate about the Sparks is their weapons are fucking terrible, but I don't know, the rest of this is But yeah, we're gonna have to see how we're gonna do this uh, mission. So, we got the armor too, so this is actually a good time to also do the, um, the Warlock mission as well. So, very difficult, so we're gonna bring decent people along too. So, I guess that's everything, guys, so remember. We'll be watching.